What is up, YouTube? So today, I first of all, let's just do an intro. Hi, my name is Jordan Baker, and it is the sleepiest girl alive. So today, I'm be doing a video on New Year's resolutions and tips for the new year. Because what better way to bring in the new year with tips for the new year? So I'm gonna just jump right into this because you know why not. So. The first one that I wrote is be true to yourself and focus on yourself and your aspirations and your goals because if you focus on anybody else, there's no way that you are going to be able to remain focused and strive for your independent goals, you know? Okay. Number two, stunt on your haters and show them what's up. Like, we all got haters. If you ain't got haters, then you ain't popping. Um, Stop on people who have doubted you in the past, show them you are worth it. I mean, I'm not, don't purposely be like, look what I got, I got money now, you know? But just be for, like, just stop on it. Number three, work on yourself, for yourself, by yourself. Whether that's working on your attitude problem, your hair, your body, your clothes, the way that you present yourself, your image. Do it yourself for yourself. Don't do it for any girl, any guy. If you wanna lose weight, do it for yourself. Don't feel because you want Jimmy to like you or you want Beth to ask you on a date. Like, do it for yourself. Like, because at the end of the day, like I said, these people are not gonna be there for you all the time. So if you're not doing things for yourself and you're relying on other people to uphold you and inspire you and encourage you to do things that you wouldn't find yourself doing on a daily basis, I suggest you need to be self-motivated because that's, that ain't gonna fly. Number four, remember that people are temporary and if a person is not in your life, you're not missing out on anything or any situation. If you're not at that party, don't worry, you're not missing out. If you're not with somebody that you wish you were, you could be with or if they are they got a boyfriend or girlfriend, don't don't even trip because God has another plan for you and that's just not what's on your, your like there's a plate with a meal on it and that's not the meal that God prepared for you. You feel? That's just, no. <laughs> so... Just don't worry about what other people are doing. Worry about yourself and just know that everything, you know, happens for a reason. And you're not missing out on any anything. I promise. I promise. Things are temporary. Number five, don't dwell on the past. It's behind you for a reason. Things happen for a reason, as I said before. And don't waste your time or energy worrying about things that you can't even change. I know that I even find myself thinking about things in the past that I wish I hadn't happened. But you can't change it, so... You might as well just learn from it, learn from, learn, learn, learn lesson from your bad situations that have happened to you or things that you've done and just grow from it and just become a better person overall. Number six, forgive people who have done you wrong. I know that this is so much easier said than done, but forgive people who have done you wrong or who have said things that you felt were offensive, if people have done things to you physically, mentally, verbally, just forgive them because at the end of the day if you don't forgive them all that hatred and all that anger inside of you is just going to build up and you're not going to be able to move on and live a happier life than you would if you already were have were to have forgiven this person and not have this feeling in your heart like there's something stopping you from just being completely happy so forgive people who've done you wrong because caring that that anger around you is not going to do you anything <clears throat> number i forgot which number this was number seven smile more and laugh more because laughter is the best medicine and i know for me laughing until i cry <laughs> laughing until i cry is my favorite thing to do my favorite hobby um and anybody can just use a really good laugh so you know number eight be low key and stay low key this is my personal tip because I know that for me, I like I just like being low key. I like not having all my business out there, I like doing things, keeping things to myself. So if that's who you are, if you are a high key person, you want everybody to know what you're up to instead of just, you know, coming out when you're successful and just coming out when, you know, you are on top, um, then hey, if that's just you. But for me, I like being low key. I like having my things under wraps. So if that's not who you are, then you don't gotta be low key. But I like to be low key and, you know, just really show people what's up. Like, <laughs> if they really gotta see, then show them, you know? Number nine, don't be disappointed in people who are not, dis who are disinterested in you. Meaning, 
don't be mad if somebody it doesn't want to get to know you. Don't be mad if somebody doesn't want to be your friend. Don't be mad if somebody. This out. Don't be mad if somebody is just period like is not interested in you because some people prefer silver to gold, baby. It's okay. It's okay, baby girl, because some people like silver. <laughs> some people like silver compared to gold, and I got nothing against them. You know, whatever. But um, don't even trip because someday you won't meet somebody that treats you like you rubies. So I don't even know if that's above gold. But you know, <laughs> whatever's above gold, they're going to treat you like you above gold. So don't even trip. Um, number 10, drink your water and mind your business. <laughs> and number 11, try new things. Whether that means listening to different artists, hanging out with people that you never would see yourself hanging out with. I don't mean like crackheads down the street. I don't mean people like that. I mean people like just people that share similar interests to you, even with different interests than you. Just really venturing out and kind of exploring every type of aspect that people have. Because everybody on this earth is here for a reason. If you're able to just talk to people who, you know, you want to hear other people's life stories or all this stuff, um, I would just hang out with them, you know? And kind of just help to help you expand your your horizons and become more open-minded because for me I love open-minded people if you are have a closed mind like mm, pray for you <laughs> so don't even don't even trip don't even trip and try new things you know try new things I don't mean like coke or molly and nothing like that I mean like reading more books listening to different music trying new hairstyles trying new skin regimens you know things like that so yeah. Number 12 and the last one is treat yourself. I know that this has multiple meetings, but treat yourself. If you want that bag, treat yourself. If you want those shoes, treat yourself. If you want that ice cream double chocolate swirl, treat yourself because if you ain't going to treat yourself, who will? Who will, you know? So, just treat yourself. <laughs> And those are all of my um, favorite tips for the new year to help y'all kind of guide y'all lives, I guess. Um, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed these tips, leave a like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, so I guess it's my video. Bye, guys. <laughs>